What's up, YouTube? Right behind me, I have the brand new 2024 Little Guy Max, and I want to show you what the biggest camper of Little Guy trailers has to offer. So let's check this beautiful camper out. Thanks for watching. What's up, campers? Right now, I'm sitting inside the 2024 Little Guy Max. Just want to go over some quick specs with you before I walk around the trailer. Change up the video a little bit. So this thing's just over 3,000 pounds, 310 pound tongue weight. As far as the overall length, it's exactly 21 foot long. That includes the tongue. It's seven foot wide overall width. The interior height is six foot seven. So somebody, I'm six two, I've got, I feel like I can easily walk around in here and I have plenty of room. My boss is six five, he can easily walk around in here. So, uh, as far as the exterior height, you're talking 9.7 to 9.9. 9.7 for their base model, 9.9 for this model, which is their Rough Rider edition. That just has a bigger size tire package on it to give you a little bit more clearance in the off-road tire. As far as the gross weight goes, 4,000 to 4,200 pounds. The fresh water tank has 19 to 20 gallons. The gray water tank is 25 to 30 gallons. And the black water tank is nine gallons. So now let's go around and check out this beautiful camper by Little Guy Trailers. So this Little Guy Max is the biggest Little Guy Trailers that they make. Again, 3,000 pounds you can tow with any of like their small SUVs. So starting right up front, we have a two inch ball up here. Removable wheel with a manual tongue jack. This does have an electric brake package on it. We do have a diamond plate, propane cover up front. This is where the 27 series battery would go, battery would go inside of. Battery box, 20 pound propane tank. Also showing the battery disconnect switch down here. On all four corners, we have stabilizer jacks. That is just to stabilize the unit, not to level it or lift it off the ground to change a spare tire. Right here, I just wanted to show you how this beautiful front window works and how big it is. Just to also show you because how large it is, people don't think it works. This is a dual pane window. I've heard of the horror story where, you know, a big rock, and you're talking a big rock because I've never seen any little pebble come and break these. But where a big rock gets kicked up somehow and ends up smashing one of the panes of the windows, they did have the warranty, thankfully, uh, so it was taken care of. But it only smashed the outer layer. They still had the old inner pane, so they never even had to stop their camping trip or worry about leaking. So I thought that was awesome. Also, you do have the screen and the blind for each window, and all these windows open up, which is a great feature on this because for a 21-foot camper, it has a lot of windows. So... Let's walk around the outside. Over here is showing you our fresh wa or our water heater. This is an electric and a gas DSI water heater. DSI stands for direct spark ignition, which just means we go inside and push a switch and that's how it turns it on. We have corner reflectors and corner lights for each of our far points. Information on the trailer right here, including our manufacturing build date and the PSI for the tires, stock tire size, and the VIN. Window here, which is going to be for our front dinette area inside. Then we get over into our water port. Right here is our fresh water. I brought the keys out for us. Inside of here, this is our standard fresh water fill that we see in most of them. If we're unfamiliar with it, we do have our little stickers over here explaining a little bit more for us. This is our fresh water fill when we're going off grid and we need to fill our fresh water tank. Go inside and use our water pump. This is when we're filling our, or not filling, this is when we're hooking up to a pressurized water system like our campground or our house where we already have the pressurized water and the faucet and we usually have like the garden hose or whatnot. So. This is where I'd hook up that. Get a water hose, not a garden hose, because the liner on the interior doesn't taste as much like plastic. Right underneath here is for your Furion TV, 
you know, just in case you want that TV, just like those hotels and motels offer. So I do usually bring a coaxial cable with me just in case, because there is a TV inside. Down here is our dump station. Gray is okay, black is for crap. So these are for our drains. This is for our toilet. I usually empty my toilet first and then rinse it out with my drains. Now we're going into the tires, nice aftermarket tires with the aluminum wheels. 30 amp power cord here. We do have a two way fridge inside. Also we have our outside porch light. Okay, now we go into our back window. This is going to be for our bed area inside. Down below that is our outside uh, shower with hot and cold water. Then we get into our rear storage. This is awesome rear storage that is held with a magnet. So I do like the magnet so we don't have to worry about latching it up. This is huge. Remember, right there is the other door. I'm not going to unlock that, but this is a pass-through storage, so you have access from both sides. So you can easily store, store all your chairs in here or a couple low-profile totes and definitely carry all your gear right here. So they're really trying to give us as much storage as possible, knowing that this is still a small camper. So, again, magnetic doors, love it. Now we're going on the back side, which is showing you this awesome stargazer window and how it does function. Again, a lot of people see these huge windows and they don't think they actually work or operate. This opens right up, but it's also a beautiful thing to keep closed and still peek through when you wake up in the morning and look at those stars or keep open when you're going to bed at night and just stargaze. Hence the name for them, the stargazer window. So from the back here, we're also going to see up top with our AC unit, 13.5 AC unit up top. Down below, we have our receiver. This is where you can throw like a bike rack in there or an extra storage rack on the back. Max load, including the storage rack that you're putting in here, can only be 150 pounds. So don't buy a 75 pound storage rack and then throw a 200 pound motorcycle on there. All LED lighting. Over on this side, we have again our pass through storage door. This is our furnace exhaust, outside propane connection. If you want to hook up an outside grill, I definitely would because who would want to cook burgers in there and get grease all over the place when you can just hook up the outside grill right here. Over here, we have our outside entertainment with a spot to put our TV. This is actually the same exact mount for the inside TV that's already there. So if you don't want it inside, you wanna watch the race or watch something or keep the kids entertained, you can just bring it right out here and put it right here. You do have a spot right here to plug it in. That comes with the HDMI and the RCA plugs. And then you have the 110 outlet over here to actually plug in the power. This does come with a nice double step double aluminum step in it nice entry door handle and we do have oops, wrong side we do have our screen door in here so now let's walk inside and check this beautiful camper out all right so as we come in we'll see right up front one of the biggest features that everybody wants is a dinette and then a permanent bed they don't want to have to make their bed every time and change it in between their dinette and then their bed. So this features that option with a small floor plan. So 21 foot long, 3,000 pounds. You have your lagoon style table right here that you can move around on the bracket. But you can also bring this thing right off, connect it right into this bracket here and make a second bed. I will show you how that works at the end of the video, but we'll just keep on going for now. You can also see that we have the windows all the way around your dinette and the storage above all the way around your dinette. They also, right in front, 
ridiculous storage here. This used to be a TV, but they took that TV out, thankfully, and put a nice little cabinet or cubby space there. A couple little cubby areas here on both sides. Plugs all over the place. So there's a plug back here, plug down below here. Next, access right there to get in, plug in the TV. Access under here to get in, which is easily accessible this way. And this is where I put all the instructions and manuals and power cords. You can see it's all dovetailed, put together. It's all real wood, high-end hinges. All right, then we get over into the shower. Nice little wet bath in here. We have our three-speed fan up top. Then we go down into our toilet and into our shower head. All right, as we're coming out of the bathroom here, that's a weird. Now we're going into our smoke detector. This right here is going to be our solar battery, our solar controller. Just showing you exactly where we're at for solar. Right now we have everything turned off, so it's just giving us the error code. Over here, we have our fridge access. And this is the two-way fridge. So this is our two-way fridge, and right here is how you turn it on between gas and electric. All right, underneath that, hot hang drawer. Fuse box underneath, carbon monoxide detector, storage that contains your shelving underneath with the wardrobe up top. Then we go into our queen size bed. So this right here is the queen size bed. We have our window back here, a shelf above us, a reading light on both sides. And this is, I mean, I am 6'2", and I can easily sleep right in here without touching my head or hitting my head in here. So, and this is sleeping side to side, not front to back. But there is plenty of room in, me, in here for me. So, and again, I'm 6'2", and I'm not touching the ground. So, if I'm touching one side, I would say I have at least three or four inches above. So, I'd say at least somebody 6'7", six, 6'8", six, can sleep in here. All right. So, then I'm looking at the back here with this beautiful stargazer window. Over on the other side, you're going to see all the shelving and the beautiful cabinets. The TV, this TV is on a swing arm, so I can come over and show everybody right at the, I don't want to unclip it. I don't, uh, it will swing over so you can watch it from the dinette as well up front. You have your inside speakers, USB and 12 volt plug and some shelves. And then we're going into the kitchen area, which a bunch of storage. I love this. All the shelves. Into the kitchen drawers. Look how big that is. burner stove or two burner stove my apologies this is all electric too we don't have to bring a lighter or anything with us which we should always have but it's nice to have the electric start or the electric sparker then we get into our awesome countertop and the sink sprayer and the faucet huge deep sink all stainless steel. Our 
above, we have our cabinets. Microwave. And then over here, I just wanted to show you the master control panel and all of our switches. So these are going to be for your awning and your handle and step light, porch light, interior lights, water pump, and the water heater switches. Then we're here, we're talking all of our levels for our battery, fresh and gray water, our stereos over here, our six volt plug is right here, which is our six volt and our USBs that runs off battery. This is our accent lights here, and then our 110 outlet here. So this is the brand new 2024 Little Guy Max. This is an awesome camper, 18 foot cabin, 21 foot overall length. It has a lot of room, it has a lot of windows, and a lot of luxuries. This is a very nice build. Thanks for watching my video. Please do me a favor, and if you like these kind of videos, hit that subscribe button and keep on coming back. I have a lot more to offer and a lot more videos coming out. So thanks for watching. Woo! All right, I didn't forget about this. I want to take you through how to change this around from a dinette into a bed. So this right here moves around. This is attached to a lagoon style table bracket underneath. If you've never used one, it does take a little bit of work to learn, but it's just like a ratchet system. All you do is you have your handles that you undo, loosen them up, pull off this part. Then, just like I did with the one portion, take this, loosen it up, pull this off. Now we have this portion of the table, which we want to set. Right there. Then, pull the other table leg out. Store these underneath. There are two slats behind the one uh, dinette bracket or the dinette backing. Now we have the full bed. And again, I'm 6'2", and I can lay down in here in the spare bed. So you can literally fit three adults in here or the two adults and a couple of kids, however you want to do it. And it does not take a lot of time. Now I'll quickly show you how to switch it back over to the table. There you go. And now you have the dinette all over again. So I hope that helped you. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.
Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> What are they trying to get working? 